I shall walk I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak Badash, the Bahamas to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawam to the elect. And it's going to be a quick one, going into um how the love of many shall wax cold. And it's funny, I was actually getting ready to do a lesson based upon something I saw um of some, you know. Some, some heartless stuff, you know, the former mayor of Texas has said. But, you know, I was ended up watching a brother um out there in South Carolina. He's actually about to finish, the elder brother. Then he actually played this brother. And this video, which is 24 minutes long, I'm not going to play it. But, you know, the, the uh, you know, that's a brother, man. So, as, you know, former brothers watching it. You know, or it's like it as, you know, brothers in the faith. That's like, damn, what make you want to get on your knees and pray and just put yourself in that situation. Like, damn, I, you know, I could imagine what them brothers going through, you know. And us as, you know, brethren, we care for one another. You know, I remember what happened. Um, I think it was Hurricane Harvey. You know, them brothers out there in uh, Houston got affected. And brothers all around the world, we got together and put money up. You know, now that's nothing to brag about. The soul through the spirit and probably how about Shimi Shai. You know, but we have compassion for one another. In which Yahweh Shai said, you know my disciples for the love they have for one another. You know, and um, when I, um, we have compassion for one another. You know, and also on a side note, you know, it makes you, it puts your hell in perspective, you know, and through the spirit, I'm like, man, I got to watch this every day, not to, you know, to really like you going through shit, but this brother's always going through way more harder stuff than you. Okay. So watching this video, feeling what the brother is feeling, you know. Kind of got me down, man. Like, then, you know, I can go in the house, turn the heat on, and go in the car and turn the heat on, you know. But, um, you know, with that kind of cold, there's really nothing, you know, that you could do. The brother said he had on, he had four comforters over him, you know. I'm guessing he had some weather type boots, his hat on, scully, and he still was freezing his ass off, you know. So that leads me to this article, which as, as I said, it's through the spirit that I found it at that particular time. Only the strong will survive, it says. Texas city mayor resigns for lashing out at residents asking for help during deadly storm. The now former mayor of Colorado City, Texas, Tim Boyd, has resigned after two Facebook posts telling people needing help and without electricity that they are on their own. No one owes you. No one owes you or your family any anything. Nor is it the local government's responsibility to support you during trying times like this. Sink or swim, it's your choice. Boyd said in the now deleted post, which was riddled with grammatical errors. <laughs> Nigga. Unusually, cold weather conditions in the state of Texas have left millions without power and over 20 people dead. For those without electricity, Boyd encouraged them to step up and come up with a game plan to keep your family warm and safe. You know? Which is like, as a brother was going into... Which he was just speaking as far as brothers, you know, brothers, I guess, I'm guessing their stove and everything runs off electricity. So they kind of like asked out, you know, in that uh, aspect. And if it's like that for the brothers, you know, which, you know, live throughout different parts of Texas, how much more for everyone else? And this guy knows that he's just been, you know, he just, just, uh. He's being a dickhead, put it like that. For those without electricity, 
would encourage them to step up and come up with a game plan to keep your family warm and safe. No water. The mayor told his constituents to deal without and think outside the box. And you know, some another thing that brother also brought up is this is not this year is no way, shape or form better than 2020. You wanted to leave 2020 so bad to go, come to this. This is only two. Look how much happened in only two months in, man. You know, it snowed at least five, six times, man. You know, the 133 car accident. So the Lord, for some reason, the Lord really got it out for Texas. You know? <laughs> and we know, the, you know, the Lord's going to bring them brothers through. But um, going into, you know, not to veer too much off the point, you know, to understanding what time we in. All right? These are cold times. You know? Meaning, people are heartless. No water. The mayor told his constituents to deal without and think outside the box. If you are sitting at home in the cold because you have no power and are sitting there waiting for someone to come rescue you because you're lazy, is the direct result of your raising. He wrote, Boyce said only the strong will survive, the storm, the weak will perish, by which he apparently meant perish. And apparently, um, as the brother was going into, there's 20 people that they said so far that actually died. You know? Because you know you got people on, um, there's no power. You know? And generators only run for so long. You got people that's on dialysis. You know, that's on types of, all types of life supports and stuff. You know, when the blackout's that long, they done. I'm sick. I uh, says, let me hurt some feelings. While I have a moment, no one owes you or your family anything, nor is it the local government's responsibility to support you during trying times like this. Sink or swim is your choice. The city and the county, along with the power providers or any other service, owes you nothing. I'm sick and tired of people looking for a damn handout. If you don't have electricity, you step up and come up with a game plan to keep your family warm and safe. If you have no water, you deal without and think outside the box to survive and supply water to your family. If you are sitting at home in the cold because you have no power and are sitting there waiting for someone to rescue you because you're lazy is direct. Okay, we just read that. This is sadly a product of a socialist government where they feed people to believe that the few will work and others will become dependent for handouts. Am I sorry that you have been dealing without electricity and water? Yes, but I'll be damned if I'm going to provide for anyone that is capable of doing it themselves. We have lost sight of those in need and those that take advantage of the system and mesh them to one group. Bottom line, quit crying and looking for a handout. Get off your ass and take care of your own family. The mayor resigned from his position on Tuesday and made another post backing off on his earlier statement saying he would never want to hurt the elderly or anyone that is in true need of help to be left to fend for themselves. Too late now, no, the cat's out the back. Boyce said his statement was directed at those folks that are too lazy to get up and fend for themselves. Those people, according to Boyd, do not deserve a handout. You know? But ain't nobody trying to hear that, man. It says uh, he also reveals his family had received undeserved anger and harassment following the post and even claimed his wife was laid off based on her association with him. I admit there are things that are said at the time and that I do not, don't agree with, but I would never harass you or your family to the point that they would lose their livelihood such as a form of income. You know, but when you're in that line, like, you understand that everything you do counts. All right, but not to, you know, ramble on too much. The scriptures say, all right, Yahweh Shai told us, it was that Matthew 24 and 12, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cool. All right? So love of many is waxing cool. All right, you start, it started off with the charlatans, the pastors, now it's on to, you know, it's on down to your political leaders. All right, telling you to take the vaccine, knowing that 
or not knowing what it'll do to you. You know, so many other things, man, like brothers are talking about at work. You know, how it's very, uh, this, you know, standoffish. Everybody's very standoffish. You know, everybody's to themselves more so. You know, so the love for many is waxing cold. And it's going to get even worse. Like I said, we're only two, two months in. And look how many bad things has happened so far. All right. Hey, I've I seen two um, articles, which every time I log into InfoWars, is another article of somebody so gun ho to take the Maxine and then ended up end up dying. You know? So, yeah, man, that was pretty much it. Um, there's another one I, uh, I like to frequent. Second answer is five and one. Five and two, which is shit is acting stupid. But iniquity shall be increased above that which thou now seest, or thou hast heard long ago. In the land that thou seest now to have root, shalt thou see wasted suddenly. You know, and it's going to get even worse, man. You know, with these storms, which I believe is going to go way past February and March. Hey, don't believe you see fucking snow in June. You know, because if you notice too, this is the first year it snowed so much in what, two or three years? You know, these past two or three years, probably even longer, you know, hasn't really snowed that much. You know? So there's uh you know, we in them times, we getting closer to them times, the times of Jacob's trouble, you know, where iniquity shall ultimately wax the the people shall ultimately wax cold against you. Even the scriptures say that um, they should not regard their kings nor princes, you know, because um, they're going to take matters into their own hands, you know, because it's going to be more of uh, Tim Boyd's, you know, in these different states. All right. You have massive unemployment. You got people about to get uh, kicked off unemployment, you know, the government assistance, you know, um, if they haven't, they're going to get kicked out of their houses. So it's going to get bad out here. It really is going to be the have and the have nots. You know, but the scriptures say the angels of the Lord came up around about those that fear him and delivereth them. You know, so that was it. With that, shalom to the elect.